Greetings, Gwynedd community. You may be asking, whatever happened to that strategic plan that Gwynedd announced last year? Well, the answer is we've been busy bringing that plan to life. Our strategic plan has provided a powerful roadmap for Gwynedd's next five years, giving us the direction to educate, inspire, and empower the next generation of Mercy women. Our focus consists of five distinct areas known as our pillars. They are academics, leadership, wellness, connection, and vitality. We are relentless in our mission to equip and empower Gwynedd students with the skills, knowledge, and connections needed to thrive in our complex world. Great strides are being made, and we're excited to share some highlights with you. Our first area of focus is academics, giving students new learning and experiential opportunities. Recognizing STEM studies as a priority, we've added classes in computational thinking, problem solving, and design for freshmen, and an introductory engineering class for all students. Comprised of industry professionals, we've created a STEM advisory council to ensure that the latest research is incorporated into the curriculum. We've also formed external academic partnerships with Jefferson University in biotechnology and with Drexel University in entrepreneurship. The Gwynedd Counseling Department is now divided into two areas of focus, school counseling and college counseling. Gwynedd now has two full-time college counselors who work with students from freshman year forward on their journey to college. This year's first semester schedule was revamped so that the midterm evaluations could be administered before the holidays, giving students time to mentally and emotionally recharge over winter break. Also new this year was Mercy Mester, a week-long departure from classroom norms to introduce students to a wide variety of topics such as Adulting 101, Event Planning, Pharmacology, World Cuisine, Glass Music, and much more. During this time, the entire senior class also experienced an enriched class retreat, deepening their relationship with God and each other. Next, the leadership development pillar is making excellent progress under the guidance of our very own Mercy alumna and fearless leader, Denise Corkery Marbach. So far this year at Gwynedd, we've hosted the second annual Leadership Summit in partnership with the Travis Mannion Foundation. We've created an ethical leader student recognition program. We've developed 11 student internships to give girls insight into professions. We've secured 20 student externships to be conducted the summer of 2020. And we've formed a student leadership council to develop girls' leadership skills through the Lead for Change program. And we've introduced a freshman internship shadow program for our ninth grade monarchs. Our third pillar, wellness, focuses on advancing the holistic development of our young women, mind, body, and spirit. We have created and introduced a series of interactive programming held each month called Monarch Mornings, dedicated to a range of wellness topics for our girls, such as risks of vaping, Tai Chi, mindfulness, self-defense, managing social media, and stress management techniques. Additionally, for parents and students, we have developed a speaker series related to such topics as empowering smart choices in a digital world and building resilience in teens. A school-wide book read was introduced this year, and the chosen book focuses on addressing a healthy body image and finding purpose in doing beautiful rather than being beautiful. The book's author will visit Gwena to discuss her experience in the beauty industry, as well as her relationship with God. Next. Our connection pillar holds great meaning and power for Gwynedd. Once you're a member of the Gwynedd family, you are family for life. To reinforce this special connection, we've taken several steps. For our students, we've increased and expanded service programs and service trip opportunities. For our youngest monarchs and their moms, we've created the Freshman Mother-Daughter Retreat. For our prospective and new families, a team of supportive Gwynedd parents has been gathered to form the GPAs, or Gwynedd Parent Ambassadors. To foster lifelong Gwynedd family connection, we've created a digital platform to enable us to do just that. Next month, we are launching Gwynedd Force, an online community to empower connection, networking, and mentoring for alumni, parents, faculty, and staff. Be sure to join the Gwynedd Force.
Additionally, this year we've reached out to our young alumni, specifically to the class of 2014, to see where their journeys have led and to learn how Gwen had prepared them. The response was tremendous, and we are pleased, but not surprised, to share that these young women are making us very proud. Our final pillar is vitality, critical to all that we do, and to ensuring the legacy of mercy for future generations of Gwinnett women. Thanks to the generosity of many in our community, we are making financial strides for ensuring the future. This fiscal year, we have grown participation in the EITC program, allowing us to provide need-based access to a Gwinnett education for more families than ever before. We also launched the President's Leadership Council back in October. We've increased participation in Gwinnett's 1861 Society. And when we say that our faculty and staff give their all, they prove it. Last year, 100% of the faculty and staff participated in giving to the annual fund. I know all of this sounds like a lot. Trust me, it really is. It reflects a lot of research, conversations, meetings, conferences, interviews, commitment, passion, and a true love for Gwen and Mercy. And this, in the beginning of bringing a five-year vision to life, all of this has been done in a matter of months. For this, we thank you for your dedication and support of Gwynedd Mercy Academy High School. It is thanks to you and to our Mercy Foundress, Catherine McCauley. She is the future.